She takes books to her book club and sells books to her book club friends. So that's revenue, but... Uh, <laughs> So those, they, I'd say, are the trends. Um, but our, our sales have diminished. We, I'll be honest, we used to do uh, maybe $60,000 in sales. Mm -hmm. We're half that now. Mm -hmm. um, we have beautiful coffee table books. If anyone's ever looking for a gift, it's, it's, it's a great mm -hmm. place to find a lovely gift. And they're usually they're in great shape. I just have a question. Are you going to? It seems like you used to have like uh, seasonal moratoriums. Do you s for donations? Do you see that happening? Like sometimes it was like, say after Thanksgiving, you wouldn't have books in for a while. Um, or do you take them all year round? We take no? them all year round. Okay. We have a cadre of those um, volunteers who sort, and who um, shelve, and then work the bookstore. So mm -hmm. people have their niche. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, we do have to, if books don't meet our criteria, a lot of people clean out their basements and they're wet mm -hmm. or moldy. We can't sell them, so we can't take them. Um, we do, tr and that's where sometimes if they're not perfect, or maybe the cover is ripped a little bit, that's where some of our books go to, um, not that we want to share books, that they're not damaged, they're just, we don't think that we could sell them as well, mm -hmm. so they might get passed along mm -hmm. to the, these other groups. Mm -hmm. so. the, do you do, uh, thanks for everything that you do, do you, uh, can you tell me how, and I think you told me last year and I don't remember, how okay. the Wilmette Rec Center works, do you guys? We go in, we, we have a, a um, no, no, it's wonderful, but do you, do you actually drive them there? Yeah. You, oh, you guys yeah. do it? Yeah. We wow. do. Um, we used to have someone who was dedicated to that, yeah. the funding, uh, um, supporting that. You know, at the rec center where the, all the um, vending machines are, mm -hmm. we have a, a roundabout rack. Um, we need, um, that's where always more volunteers can come in handy. But uh, some of the um, people who are on the board, they'll go, I'll take books or sure. magazines there. Is yeah. that like a little free library? You don't sell them. We there. don't sell them. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It's a, like right. a little free library. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. And we sell a lot of the, an you know, most uh, our books are sold downstairs yeah. at the bookstore, <laughs> but we do have the annex. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it is the um, honor system because you have to take those to the desk. Um, but if someone wants to take a book, you know, we're, we're fine with that. Dan, I do remember we talked about trying to get into the Metro. Yes. Um, we have tried to pursue that yeah. and really didn't get much response. Because I think they have that in the Highland Park. I know at one of the other stations. Well, Nanka does. Lenby does. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. This Metro, you know, we've approached the person at the desk. Yeah. Um, we've tried to call. We really have not gotten much response. Yeah. But we'll keep at it. Um, the other... Um, I do know that the Rock House sells their coffee there, and I've been thinking that maybe that would be a good connection to um, contact the Rock House owners mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see if we could get maybe like, a small yeah. revolving st you know, stand there. And then we, we've had a little, um, on that front, uh, at the CTA station, uh, we've had a little discussion about maybe doing one there, too. Um, so I don't, if that would be of interest. We'd, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Not to sell, but it's visibility for us. Mm -hmm. It's um, great, you know, uh, PR for the library. Yeah. It, do you it, put a label in there? Um, we do just... not. However, th I'm glad you asked that because, um, you know, Professor Plum has been receiving... I'll give <laughs> Professor Plum up. Yeah. Um, I'll take Professor Plum with your books to the French market, the farmer's market this weekend. Yeah, so. um, you right, are? and we do put yeah. a sticker in those. Yes. I'll go to the French market. Just they, they be, yeah, I got the biggest, they're, they're books for the, kids and books for adults. The it's, days yeah. that we have had a stand, yeah. and we have a nice tent, and yeah. we have a nice banner, and we have, we've really upped our, our game with um, branding. Mm -hmm. um, Professor Plum does either doesn't go, I oh. can't recall if that's quite the... Um, system they won't go and distribute books because we feel that if we can be oh, there sure. selling right. professor plum will pick another weekend oh, okay. but does put in a our, a sticker with our logo nice so um, that's good to know sure and for example the um 1315 i should say boxes of books that went down to the south side with that chicago um, school program, they did put a sticker in. Mm -hmm. um, they put our sticker in, thanks to the Wilmette Public Library and friends. Jill, 
thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I could keep talking, but I will. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks. Nice to be here. Thanks for letting me too. Say my piece. Well, indeed. Continue. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for all the work that your organization does. Oh, I'll share that with the board tomorrow. Thank you. We have an active board. Jan now sits in on our board, and we're delighted. So, and anyone's welcome. And I hope to see you all at the luncheon next week, Friday. Thank you. Okay. Um, the next item is the um, Treasury's report located behind attachment two. Um, treasurer is absent in um, his absence. I'm giving the report. Um, you'll notice there's a update. There's a typo in the financial report. Um, <coughs> And the updated one is in your packet with the highlight um, that our budget um, is actually slightly above, um, I mean, not materially, but um, what I particularly noticed in looking at this is really um, how what a great job we did in budgeting because it really is pretty much dead on exactly where we yes. want to be. Um, surprisingly that it's that dead on. Um, but we will obviously, you know, as we really are looking at this, we'll, we'll get better on that. Some of the one things that are either substantially higher or lower are due to things like programming that hasn't taken place or, you know, because we're just coming off the summer or periodicals is, uh, you know, half of them are got renewed in the fall. And so those kinds of timing issues. Are there any questions on that? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, if not, uh, the bills and salaries are located behind uh, t attachment three. Could I get a motion to approve the bills and salaries? I have a motion to approve the bills okay. and salaries. Okay, Stuart. Uh, I'll second it. Jenny is second. Any discussion with respect to any of the items there? I just had a question. Um, I'm a little late on asking, but the, um, is the net income? Is that... Uh, uh, is, it, is this the bills and salaries? No, that's why I said a little late. On oh, well, let's, let's finish this one and then we'll go back to sure. that because we're working on the bills. It's, that's the motion that's on the floor. Um, so is there any discussion with respect to the checks? No. Um, Jan, can you call the roll? Mm -hmm. um, Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Olaf? Mm -hmm. Aye. Trustee Garces? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Okay. Now, you had actually had a question back on attachment two. Yes. Thank you. So, I've just turned to, um, of our $16 million in equity, it's that net income one. And I'm Pardon trying, me? So, I'm looking on page two. Right. And um, if the right person isn't here, I'm not sure. Explain it's it. It's the balance sheet yeah. there. Wait, what does the net income refer to under that last one, the million five? I'm not sure where you Net income on. Okay. Could you. There's nothing there. It's, a, it's a, the beginning fund balances of our equity. Is, oh, the net income. So we've got, um, we have right. $14 million in the bank, as I understand it. The current fund balances are a million. And the net income, I'm trying to understand how that relates to the rest of the budget. Oh, okay. um, this? Right here. One of the things that I frequently say to people with this respect to finance questions, sure. that in general, it's not sort of stump the president or stump the director at the board meetings. If you have a question that's fairly technical like that, um, it's you're probably better off giving people a heads up um, I did sp the the interest income. I mean, the items that we received in August. So this, you know, the we're in September. So we're talking about, um, we're, you know, we everything that happened up to August, which the big inflows were, in fact, the tax revenues, which we all paid and were due August first. Um, this is it's a little tricky because this is a nonprofit balance sheet, and I don't know, many of us studied 
you know, bookkeeping. Assets equals liabilities plus net worth. And so these here, you know, we have our total assets and we don't have any real li we don't have any liabilities, so it's all the net worth. So basically the total assets equals the totals of our fund balances. So it says total equity, which is the same number as total asset liabilities and equities, because we have no liabilities. So um, the total equity is the total sum of, I, as I understand it, of our fund balances. Is that correct? No. It, it seems correct, but I think I would need more time to really understand it to give a good explanation. Right. And you. one of the things, the next, we have a couple of two pretty finance-heavy meetings coming up. First, we have a meeting of the Finance Committee, which I believe is October 10th yes. uh, at, at 8, 8 o'clock, so that yeah. people, you know, everybody can attend. And then, of course, the October meeting, we will have the auditor there, and he is uh, definitely the person to walk you through the intricacies of how fund balances, uh, fund balance accounting, and how the... The numbers are classified, how the, how the, how the dollars are classified. So yeah, that, that's the better time to ask the question versus here because this is more of an overview of, of what's coming in and out on a monthly basis. Oh, yeah. Plus the I, treasurer isn't here. Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if I could have an answer to that at well, the you, finance yeah. committee. When you go to the when you're at the finance committee meeting, you could it'll, it'll be discussed. So yeah, yeah, so I'm hopeful I can have an answer at the finance committee. I can pass it on to the staff, but you know, the finance people. I'm sorry, did couldn't you? Can you can right? ask the finance people to have an answer yes. at the finance committee meeting, please. Sure. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, public comment? No members of the public? <laughs> um, for, uh, our only action item is the board authorization of deputy election clerks. The local election will be held on Tuesday, April 2nd. Uh, the incumbent trustees whose terms are expiring are Jan, Ginny, Lisa and myself. Um, by appointing the clerks, we get to, because we're running, get to hand their their packets mm -hmm. into uh, to Cynthia or the other uh, Nancy or Marty, rather than um, going downtown and in with the election packets there. So, could I get a motion to? Uh, approve um, so move to Cynthia McMullen, Nancy Jo Carol, and, Mar uh, and Marty Belfontaine to act as deputy clerks. Lisa? I, I moved. Stuart I moved. Oh, you're second. seconded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Ron's position. Okay. Right. <laughs> all right. Ron isn't here to keep us on track, yeah. but this doesn't involve money, so I'm going to say all in, fa Aye. All Aye. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. All right. Uh, renovation project. Um, Betty. So currently we've been working on a request for qualification. So Mark Ritzman and Jody Mariano from Tusca Associates have worked on that request. And once the ad is, once the notice is placed, it's a public notice, it would be out there for 30 days. And then people would have, firms would have that time in which to reply to that request. Um, I will work with Ginny probably on sort of the timetable for that. Um, because it does involve some dates that have to be ticked off in the process. Um, that's where we are on that. Um, and this is the request to get somebody to sort of manage Construction the management. Construction mm -hmm. management. Of request the for qualifications outdoor. for construction management. Yep. Project. Okay. Okay. And so is that like aiming for the spring to start? The goal is to, yes, have that project actually break ground in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, is this, we got an email from uh, a resident who wanted us to look at like a plant assessment. Is that That the, is, um, yes, um, Charlotte I Edelman. I had a letter um, that I had worked on together with Sir Beth, but Jan, who is going to take a, who, you know, understands a lot more than I do about the issues. He's going to take another look at that letter. It's right over there if you want to take a look at it and sort of go over it, and with the hope that we can get this letter 
in the mail off this week. It's Tuesday, but Jan said she, she just had 24 hours or so to go over it. I should have it ready to sign at that point. And I think while that letter focuses on flowers, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a much larger project exactly. in terms of what those objectives are as opposed to being a flower garden. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that's going to be planned is to have several open houses where people can come and talk and we can explain what the objectives are and they can have input prior to it jumping off. Great. Yeah, I mean, I would just clarify um, that she's uh, commenting about the native garden. Mm -hmm. And um, and, and it's has, a far bigger project than but that. But the project is a much bigger project than that, yes. It's, mm -hmm. you know, to improve the safety and appearance of our patio, which is probably the most pressing need. It's been patched, repatched, and then patched again. And that's, I think, as much as anything driving the timing of this project right, right now. Um, we're, I think we're all sort of regretful that it's going to have to survive another winter, but that's just the way it goes. Right. 